Hello guys, my name is Kim and normally I do a weekly video where I show you all my comic book pickups. I know there's a few new people that have subscribed, so hello, welcome to the geeky family. So today I'm going to go through my comic book pickups for the 27th of July. So normally I show what I picked up in store and I'm also reading things digitally, so I will show them at the end. So first pickup is Action Comics 960. This series is fantastic. If you are a fan of Superman but haven't read any comics this is a really good series to jump on. I think this is only like the third or fourth since the Rebirth issue so it's really really easy to jump on so I highly suggest action comics at the moment. Next up we have Wonder Woman issue number three from DC Rebirth. So this series so far has been a little bit slow in my opinion though I am very interested to see where this goes so I, I decided to pick this one up and I will probably continue to pick it up for a few more issues just to see if it picks up and fleshes out the story a bit more. I also picked up uh, Batgirl issue number one which I love Batgirl I'm a big fan of Batgirl so of course I was gonna pick this up I enjoyed the rebirth issue Batgirls and the Birds of Prey so of course I was gonna pick up issue number one I'm so excited to read it the cover art is amazing I think it's it's so good so I'm really excited to um, read the story and see what happens inside additionally because a few people have been asking me my opinion on the killing joke animated film that came out I think it comes out on DVD on like the 2nd of August so so I will probably make the video then and upload it then. So if you want to hear my full thoughts on The Killing Joke, watch out for the video. Next up is Nightwing issue number one. So I bought the Rebirth issue for this and I thought, okay, I will pick up issue number one and see how it is. I've heard a lot of people were saying like his Agents of Spiral series wasn't very good. I've actually, I think I've got volume number one that DC Comics sent me. So in this series, he's turning back more into like Nightwing, Nightwing. So I was a bit more inclined to pick this one up. So I have Nightwing issue number one. I also decided to pick up uh, the Rebirth issue of Red Hood and the Outlaws. So I've never actually read Red Hood before because I don't read a lot of Batman. So I was very interested in picking this one up and just sort of reading what it's going to be like. What is very interesting in here is actually Bizarro is in the cover art. So that I have to admit that did attract me a little bit to this comic. So I'm really excited to read a little bit more about Red Hood and the Outlaws and I'm hoping the Rebirth issue is really good. The last print issue I picked up was I had to pick this up. Normally I don't get any book that's like $8 but I thought I'm gonna get it. So this is Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Aliens. Like three of my most favorite people ever, franchises ever. So all of them combined is fantastic. Like I don't I don't care how lame you think it might be. I'm so excited to read this. I am like beyond excited. I will inhale anything Judge Dredd. So um, when Predator and Aliens are concerned, do you understand now? So that's it for the print issues I got in store. So now I'm going to read out the digital issues that I'm reading. So for digital comics, let's just go in alphabetical order because I think that's the easiest way. The first one I got was Captain America Steve Rogers number three. So I did regret not picking up the first and second issue when it first came out and all the controversy happened. I decided I better jump on this and start reading it and getting up to date. So it's kind of cool to be reading like an ongoing Captain America series. So I'm, I'm quite happy that I'm picking this one up now. Next one I'm reading is Captain Captain Kid issue number one. I thought this one was interesting because it's kind of like a reverse Shazam. He's like an old middle-aged guy that turns into a young kid. I decided I wanted to try this one. Next up is Cryptocracy issue number two, which is kind of like a, a conspiracy series. Again, I did regret not picking up issue number one in store. So I thought, uh, I will um, look at the digital editions and see how it is. So far, it's, it's kind of different to what I'm reading. So I decided I would pick this one up and continue the series. Next one is Flash issue issue number three. So I really enjoyed the rebirth and then didn't pick up any of the issues in store. So I thought the Flash is definitely one I want to continue reading because I read the new 52 and some earlier Flash as well. So I decided I wanted to read the ongoing Flash from the Rebirth. So I decided I would be picking this one up digitally. So this is issue number three. Next up is Mechanism issue number one. This one was a bit interesting because it's sort of like an ap ap apocalyptic robot series which is kind of cool so it, it, it caught my eye so I decided I would I would put that in my pull list and uh, read this one so I've got the digital issue of this one next is Power Rangers pink issue number two I did regret not picking up the first issue of this again in store because the pink Power Ranger has always been my favorite because her name is Kimberly so of course when I was younger she was like my idol so um, I am excited to be reading 
a series based on Kimberly the Pink Power, Power Ranger. It's awesome. And lastly, for the digital editions I picked up is uh, Titans issue number one. So I did pick up the Rebirth issue of Titans and I quite enjoyed that, but it, I, I'm not, I wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to continue buying every week. I know I'm going to buy Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and such and Batgirl and Supergirl. I always know I'm going to buy those, but when it comes to other series, I'm not sure if I want to spend my money on that. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, if it's a waste. So I decided I will continue reading this digitally until it doesn't pique my interest. But at the moment, it's quite interesting. So I decided to pick up issue number one of Titans. So that's my complete comic book haul for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what new comics you guys are reading in the comments below. I always love reading them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.